all of us have electronics that we don't use anymore. It either gets discarded or donated to a Goodwill store or other kind of thrift store or charity shop. But sometimes if we take a closer look, we might be able to repurpose a particular item. And these three things you see here have a 30-pin iPod connector on them, which means with a modern iPhone, they're pretty much useless. And even with an adapter that adapts the 30-pin to a lightning connector, the phone isn't going to sit very stable on that. So here's a couple of ways that you could repurpose one of these. And again, I've, I have seen these quite frequently lately at Goodwill stores, especially the ones that are branded iHome. But... Uh, these particular ones here have the standard 30-pin connector, just like you would find on an old iPod or iPhone. Looks like that. And it might be possible to get yourself one of these old iPod touches off of eBay for a pretty cheap price. And in fact, I got this one off of eBay for about 10 bucks. And as you can see, it's pretty scratched up on the back. But the item is definitely still useful and I'm going to use it as an internet radio and I'll show you how I do that here in a moment. Another way you can repurpose one of these old 30 pin iPod docks is to get a Bluetooth adapter like this one and this Bluetooth receiver plugs into one of these docks and then you pair your device with it so it could be an iPhone 6 or it could be an Android device or a tablet or it can even be your computer, and you sync it with this Bluetooth device and use this unit as a speaker. So basically, you could just lay your phone next to it on the table, or you wouldn't even have to do that. You could just have it in the room somewhere and play your music through it that way. So that's one idea that you could do to, to repurpose one of these three items you see here. This particular one here is a JBL, and the one back here in the back, this was an, an Ativa, which is uh, a product from either Office Max or Office Depot, and I don't remember which one. But let's go ahead and try the, uh, the internet radio, because I think that's been the most fun for me. So if you're a radio listener or you listen to iHeartRadio, then you're familiar with, uh, with this particular app. And what I want to show you is the app that I use, and it is called OO Tunes. Now, I tried to download this off of the App Store a little bit ago, and I wasn't able to get to it. But I do have a Wi-Fi connection, as you can see there. So if I'm going to go ahead and tap on this uh, app here, you'll see that I have a perfectly working radio. Well, the app just crashed. Let's try it again. Let's go ahead and dock it first. So we put it in the dock. Tap on OO Tunes here. All right, so at, at the main screen, when you first get in there, it might look like that, or it may look like that. If you want to do a search, you tap on this little magnifying glass here, and then tap Search Stations, and then type in the call letters of the station that you want to listen to. So a big uh, AM station here in St. Louis is KMOX. So I can type that in. And then I hit search. Actually, it did it without me hitting search. And then I just tap on the best match. And within seconds. Play the lottery's new Lucky for Life with drawings every Monday and Thursday. You can win $1,000. And we get a commercial for the lottery. Now, as this, you can see here, this station doesn't have any uh, album art. But some of them actually do have album art. So let me show you one of those. There's a, uh, a Christian radio station that I've added to my favorites already. Let's go back to the main screen. Down here is the list of favorites, so I'm going to tap on that. And I've chosen K-Love as one of my radio stations. So I tap on that. Connects to the station. Now, apparently they don't have any art associated with this song, but apparently, uh, I mean, usually, you'll see album art appear there as well. 
And this app also records radio, and I haven't quite gotten the knack of, of being able to record with it, but the app does record radio as well. So uh, this was just a quick way to show you how to turn an old device like this into an internet radio. Um, and again, I must have uh, gotten in there at the right time because it wasn't that long ago, maybe a year ago, that I actually put this OO Tunes app on here. And all I did was go into the store here. Yeah, and now it says cannot connect to the store. A secure connection could not be established. Please check your date and time settings. Oh, okay. Well, it could be just because my date and time are off on here. So, uh, let's see here. General date and time. Yeah, set date and time. <laughs> Saturday, January 1st of 2000. All right. Well, no wonder. Do you guys remember this interface? Isn't this just totally crazy? It's like going back in time here. I'm not really sure what today's date is. Let's just go with that. It's definitely not 2.17 p.m. It's um, definitely later than that. All right, so let's try it. See if we can get in there now. So here I am browsing the modern app store on an antique iPod Touch. And again, just go into the store like you normally would. It's probably running so slow because it's not used to having this old device on there. It's probably a lot more feature-rich content than there used to be. But anyway, go in there, do a search, and just type in OO Tunes. And you should see it come up there. And there it is, OO Tunes. And, oh, it costs money now for this guy. All right, it's $5. Maybe I already uh, spent the $5 on it. I don't know. But in any case, uh, I downloaded it on this old iPod Touch running. This is running like iOS 3, something like that. Um... But uh, anyway, that'll get you there on the, uh, on the right path anyway. So again, just a way to repurpose something that's old. And um, one of the other things about these old technological devices is that many of them have either an auxiliary in or an auxiliary out on them. So you can, uh, trying to get the focus to work there. There you go. So you can see there's a line out on this particular dock. Some of them actually have a S video port on the back as well. Um, but this one here, you may have seen it in my, my review of the AT-LP60 turntable. And you can see that there's a line in on there. So you don't even have to use the 30 pin connector. You can just hook a 3.5 millimeter jack in right there and still use it as a pair of speakers. Repurpose it as a, uh, as a pair of computer speakers if you wanted to. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you out. And uh, please share it with a friend. And like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. And have a great day.